Good morning, YouTube and social media. So, we are going to go back to our normal programming. This week is coming to an end, and I will do my best to go back to releasing three, or three, two or three build episodes a week uh, that are actual video content. They're not just me talking in my room. Um, but let's go real quick, crash just through what's changed or what's advanced. So, Start with Columbus Smart City. Uh, we made it to the final, final round. There was, I believe, two or three rounds of cuts, if I remember. I want to say two, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Either way, there were several rounds of cuts. We made it all the way through to the final round. I uh, didn't make it. Still trying to get feedback from the selection committee on why. Uh, the email basically said that the three groups that were involved, the three committees that were involved in picking teams, uh, just had other teams that more aligned with their goals, not that our idea or that our business model was bad so we're on to something but the interesting thing was what parlayed off of that was somehow the university that i attend the university of akron got a hold that i made it to that that far into the program and since then i've had email conversations with the president of the university i am going to meet with him in the next coming couple weeks so that's cool um ironically when I had this idea, um, whew, I had this idea probably roughly beginning of the year. Um, I brought it to several professors, and they were like, now we're not interested. And I was like, fine, fuck it. I'm going to go do it myself. So I did. And, you know, went to, went to all these meetups. I started teaching myself how to write code. Uh, still have a long way to go write code. Like, I'm not a coding expert. So... Don't get that confused. I'm just learning. Um, but I started teaching myself, going to meetups, getting a team together, you know, really building this thing out. And like, you know, nine months later, um, we're getting somewhere. We're developing beta. It's still a long way to go. I'm not a success. I'm still in my bedroom. Um, but we're making progress. And it's just going to be a long, ever-evolving story. So anyway, it's kind of funny that the university now wants to help out. And it's like, well, you guys could have been helping me from the beginning. So uh, we'll see how that conversation goes. Another university uh, that I met at a conference emailed me to talk today as I'm recording this. Um, so we'll see how that goes. That's interesting. And then um, also we're getting a really quick and dirty crash course in business and business partnerships. Just it's tough decisions to be made. Um, can't speak like a lot on I can't speak a lot on the terms of what was offered I can't speak a lot on who was involved because I had the because shit could go downhill from there but um just some really 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 tough decisions so the offer that was made is lucrative to say the least uh, lucrative as in um, the people that I meet I met with have a lot more experience than me they have more money than me um and i feel that i've told them s enough that they could potentially become a competitor to me so that's kind of interesting um that's just going to be something we'll find out i don't know i really don't know uh be lying if i said i wasn't a little bit nervous i'd be lying but i'm not going to act like it i'm going to fucking man up get some confidence and uh, we'll figure it out and learn as we go so mistakes might have been made i don't know well, that is to be determined uh this weekend i'm supposed to meet with them though um so we'll see how that goes supposed to go to the cleveland air show um again to meet with some people we'll see how it goes that'll be something to unfold uh in the next episode uh but yeah, I mean, other than that, there's not much more that I can think of. This was the first week of classes, so back in school. Um, yeah, I mean, things are, I mean, things are looking good, making progress. It's hard not to put the cart before the horse in some aspects and not get too excited. Like, still haven't made a dime off the software, still are developing beta, um, but just, it's exciting to see the progression get made little by little. And it's just something you really have to get addicted to. You have to just get addicted to that, 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 that rush that like, all I need is a red pen and a fucking to-do list. Like here, 
to-do list. That's it. I just need that. I'm happy as hell. Just let me work. I don't need anything else. I don't need money. I'm not doing this for money because I'm not making a lot of money right now. But the, the constant struggle, um, I feed off it. I feed off that. I love it. It's, I just like to compete. Um, and you just have to, you have to find something, somehow, some way, whatever it is in your head or in your mind, uh, that just allows you to keep coming after day after day because it takes a lot of time. And I know like this current business model, whatever the hell you want to call it, has been like evolving for, you know, technically over a year because I first noticed it when I got involved a little over a year ago. Um, but A, this current business model isn't the one that created, caused me to start uh, Structural MD. So that that's changed. I pivoted greatly off that because I learned a lot. Um, and I just, I, I ran a company at, at age 10 people are like, Oh, it's still landscape company. Running. I had like 20, I had like 10 clients, 20 clients, something like that. I had a Rolodex of people. I followed up with people. You know, I pushed my mower around at various houses. Like I tried to have friends help me work and they, they fucking quit on, they quit. You know, I was out there 15 hours a day, sun up, sun down, never came home to eat. No one told me to stay. I, I mean, I finished jobs that people told me it took other people two days to finish with multiple people. I just like to work. I'm a workhorse. And um, egotistically, I like talking about it because it makes me feel good. Uh, but that also gives me something to back up. And I believe that you can talk all you want. You can talk. You can post on social media that you have this great worth ethic. But then Snapchat and that like story types up makes you back that shit up. Like you have to back that up. Um, everybody can talk. Everybody talks. Everybody can talk. Everybody. They talk. Everyone just talks, man. But you just got to back it up. And I think with, to me, Snapchat's just a way for me to back it up. Like, um, you can talk all you want, but let's, let's see the results. Let's see the real work. Uh, we got a long way to go, but egotistically, I like talking about it because I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel good. I have to know that I'm not working you. So call it what you want, but. We will see you on the next episode 108.